Hello friends, myself is Palas Tannal and in this parts of routing and remote access now we'll learn how to configure NAT using routing and remote access. In the second part of routing and remote access we see how to configure LAN routing in using routing and remote access. Now configure NAT network access translation you can share your uh, internet to to your cl client machines so I have a internet connection or I have a router see I have a three connection one LAN one and second is LAN two and third is internet connection so in the client machine I go to command prompt and ping 192.168.1.100 is pinging but if I ping the ping my router this uh, this IP is 192.168.1.1 so it's request timeout because it has it uh, does not uh, connect this router so using uh, configuring the net you connect your router and connect your internet or your physical router so for using uh, or connect different types of uh, this uh, networks IP or your router so at first connect go to server and configure NAT in routing and remote access so second part we see my network my LAN connection is connected in the internally we are uh, connected two LANs and three LANs connections but we not do not connect it my router so in the client machine i give my router's ip address in the dns server so go to the routing and remote access ip version 4 in general options right click on these options here is the option new routing protocol click there is a lot of protocols and here is a options net so click on ok show net so right click new interface your interface is internet ok click on public and enable net on this interface click apply ok so my net is configured and go to the client machine cmd ping 192.168.1.0 one now my router is ping go to xp machines run or ping now it's also pinging So that's it friend, if you like my video you can configure, you can like me, 
www.facebook.com about my computers or you can subscribe me on youtube channel